Well, we saw a memorable Major League first a moment ago, and uh, J.P. Morosi is all over the story in the stands as well. <laughs> J.P., where are you? Thank you, Matt. Well, I have to correct the record here. You said Buck Showalter was the happiest. I think I found the happiest. Beth Mancini, <laughs> mother of Trey Mancini. Beth, what are your emotions right now? I'm just numb. The whole experience from Saturday night when he got the phone call, it, it just it still has not hit me yet. I, it just hasn't hit me. I'm completely numb. It, it's just, I just have to go home and watch it again. I, I was hugging everybody so much, I really didn't even see him run the bases. I didn't see him tip his hat to the crowd. So I can't wait to go back to the hotel and just watch everything when I'm by myself. <laughs> I think right now we're watching, Beth, the, the video of, of you getting the ball, I believe, from the home run. Can you describe uh, how that happened and what that moment was like? Well, this gentleman over here walked over and handed it to me, and um, I just had tears in my eyes. I'm, I'm still just shaking, and I, I still can't believe that this is all real. You know, he's been this has been his dream since he was four years old, and a lot of wonderful times, a lot of tough times. Um, my father, I grew up an Orioles fan. I'm from Bowie, so I went to Memorial Stadium all my life, and my father, there was no bigger Orioles fan than my father, and today happens to be his birthday. He passed away about three years ago, about two days before Trey got drafted, and um, today is his birthday. He would be so proud. Wow, on his, bir on his birthday. I had you thought when you're walking to the stadium that, that that story could possibly be so perfect, just as you described it. it, it it's amazing. I, two weeks before he got drafted by the Orioles, I had a dream that my father was playing first base, and it was so real to me. And then he got drafted by the Orioles, so that in itself was just unbelievable. And um, I wish my father was here to see this, and I know I know he's seeing it, but I wish I was here to experience him seeing it. And Beth, it looked like Trey was was looking, trying to look in your direction from the dugout. If he was sitting next to you right now, if he was sitting right here with us, what would you say to him? I would just hug him as as hard as I could. <laughs> and I'll be doing that a lot tonight. I'm just, I'm so proud of him and his hard work and his dedication and um, his perseverance. It's, you know, for all these guys um, to get to this level and to get to this point, it's, it's a dream. They all, they, they all start about age four or five. It's, you know, and it's just a lot of blood, sweat, tears, happy times. And um, his, uh, one of his best childhood friends, Cameron Mouton, flew in from Chicago just for the day on Sunday. His friend from Notre Dame, um, Brett Bassalone, right here, flew in from Atlanta today. <laughs> My brother was here Sunday, and he came straight from work and took a taxi from D.C., and my cousin came from the area, and we had about 19 people here on Sunday, and we're expecting a lot of family and friends over the weekend. Wow, a dream come true for you. Congratulations to you, Andre, and the whole Mancini family. Thank you so much. Thank you.